How's it going everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming. In this quick tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to enable your push to talk button for Discord. Very easy to do and it'll only take a minute, so check it out. There's a cog wheel in the bottom left-hand side called User Settings. Simply click on that. On the left-hand side, you'll see all of your user settings. You're looking for voice and video. And this will only be here if you have the app installed, unless they've changed it in the future. If you're using the browser, you may not be able to find it. So try installing the app if you can't find voice and video. Once you find voice and video, click on it and you're gonna see input device and output device. The input device will be your microphone. So select it from a dropdown, find your microphone. And then the output device will be your speakers. You can hit default if you're not sure and see if that works for you. Set the volumes. I keep them on full blast and control them with other things. We're gonna do a quick mic test to make sure that it's picking up our input. Testing, Testing audio, audio one, one, two, Gregory, Chad. It's working beautifully. Okay, so then we're gonna scroll down to the input mode and click on push to talk. That will switch it so that it stops picking up voice activity. Then we're gonna click on shortcut, click this little button right here, edit keybind. And then the next button you press, it will record as the button you wanna press for when you want to talk. I've selected mouse button four. Whatever button you pick, that's the button you're gonna press when you want to talk. And your microphone will only be hot while you're holding that button down until a certain amount of time after you release that button. And that's the push to talk release delay. Mine is set to 20 milliseconds, which is very quick. So as soon as I let go of that button, it's gonna stop picking up my microphone. You can put it on whatever you want. And that's basically it. That's all you have to do to enable push to talk. And it's definitely something you should enable if you're going to be in a large group of people. That way your microphone isn't constantly being turned on by noise in the background, the TV playing, kids running around, cars driving by. There's lots of reasons why I recommend using push to talk. And now you know how to do it. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. Come join us on Discord. That's where we're hanging out. Links in the description below. Love you guys very much. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.